As public servants, we must uphold transparency, accountability in all our work. Apart from inhibiting yourselves from corrupt practices, I also urge you to avoid unjust and dangerous acts that put the bureaucracy in a state of decay. It is your obligation to give life, meaning, and substance to the constitutional mandate of local autonomy and decentralization of powers. You are also endowed to engage in meaningful, meaningful discussions on matters involving local legislative concerns. With this, I am hopeful that you will support the passage of the administration's legislative priorities, particularly measures that aim to capacitate local government units. Among these are the e-governance act, which will institutionalize digitalization in the bureaucracy and make it easier for Filipinos to transact with their government. I also encourage you to support the amendment to, be, to the Build Operate Transfer Law so that we can address ambiguities and bottlenecks and other challenges in implementing the law. I also invite you to join me in lobbying for the passage of the National Land Use Act. This will effectively help manage the country's land and water resources. Another related legislation is the Tax Package 3, or the Valuation Reform Bill, to ensure the development of a just, equitable, and efficient real property valuation system. Let us also work together for the passage of the Waste Treatment Technology Act, which will pave the way for modern options in solving the persistent garbage problem of the country. This will mandate LGUs to promote, encourage, and implement a comprehensive solid waste management program that includes reduction, segregation, recycling, and recovery. Let me emphasize that the LGUs have as much vital role as the national government in addressing urgent concerns such as all of this that lead to the inflationary pressures that we are feeling today.